The Armored Core series has always had different classes and builds that you could make your ACs when customizing your loadout. We are going to discuss different builds and ideas that you could use when you play the new Armored Core 6. We are mainly going to be focused on the fourth generation, like Armored Core 4 Answer, but this is universal across all games. Really all the different weapons in the game and damage you can cause on your opponent falls into a various few number of categories we will discuss. First is Ballistic Weapons. Ballistic weapons come in a variety of shapes and sizes, like machine guns, Gatling guns, all the way up to cannons and howitzers. You can make various builds designed around close combat, like shotgun builds, SMG builds, wrist bazookas, all the way to medium and long range sniper builds with heavy shoulder howitzer cannons, long range sniper rifles, and various others. Some different heavy duty builds could be different Gatling guns on your shoulders and whatever new concoctions are in Armored Core 6. Amongst ballistic weapons, the cannons are the most powerful, but usually are slow firing and not as much ammunition. The next category would be energy weapons. These are very powerful usually limited ammunition with the more powerful versions, and they range from everything from little laser pistols to laser SMGs to rifles of various firing speeds and different damage output to machine gun lasers and shoulder-mounted laser cannons. You could do the same with these with uh, sniper builds, short range builds, long range builds. The thing with lasers is, in my opinion, they're good for PvP, but not necessarily good for taking out vast amounts of enemies, like PvE, because the ammunition can be limited. But in terms of singular combat, you versus an opponent, other players or powerful bosses, laser weapons are great. Then you have melee combat. This falls into the categories of laser swords and also physical weapons and different pneumatic weapons like power fists or spikes that explode when you punch someone at close range. These are obviously great and each one of these builds, depending on your playstyle, you will need different FCSs. That is your firing computer. And they usually range from narrow lock-on to long range, wide lock-on to shorter ranges, melee-specific fighting computers, and then also ones for great lock-on capability for missiles. The next damage output that we know of would be missile damages. Making a missile boat, armored core, you just put missiles on your shoulders, missiles on your hands, hand launchers, and you just rely on lock-on capability. Super amounts of high damage output and can be real annoying because some of the missiles are extremely capable of homing and locking on to targets, even fast moving targets. Now with all this damage output, there are different chassis you could build. Everything from super lightweight, skinny mechs that won't be able to house giant cannons, maybe just one of them if you optimize, all the way to reverse jointed bipedal that could usually carry more, but you can get them down in sizes to also be highly fast, to tank tread mechs, that's usually very sturdy firing platforms with generalized good speed in one direction, not the best turning capability and usually not too fast, but can hold vast amounts of weight. You could put multiple cannons on your back, multiple giant howitzers in your hands. Then you have spider legs, more maneuverable in the 360 degree manner, 
not as fast in one direction like a tank tread for example, it's just more steady moving, but a lot more maneuverable in the spider legs. These also give you a stable firing platform, but not as much weight as the tank. And then you have the middle ground hover legs, very fast, not as maneuverable as the spider legs, but the fastest of the three, and usually requiring big generators, just like with laser weapons and energy weapons. You need a bigger engine to produce more energy output. And then you have the various bipedal legs of different sizes, light, medium, and heavy, depending on what kind of weapons you want to use. Now, you can mix and match all this to create various builds, various classes. For example, you could do a lightweight, super fast, super boosters, energy efficient engine, use shotgun in one hand, energy sword in the other, and then on your back could be anything that you could carry with your weight. I would go with maybe one medium machine gun on one shoulder, and if you want to keep it in the ballistic or laser category, see what else you could fit up there. Maybe even a radar system on one shoulder. You could do a pure melee sword build, two swords, medium weight, and then on your shoulders, different machine guns, Gatling guns, or a missile build. Put missiles on your shoulder, two swords, you know, that could name it whatever you want. You could do a rifleman build. So it's a rifle of either energy or ballistic. In one hand, your left hand could be a grenade launcher. And then your shoulders could be anything from an, a jamming system to radar systems to more high output damage missile systems. You even have one category of non-smart missiles. That's the bazookas, the RPGs. That's for people that are usually in short range. So those weapons are great for sword or melee builds. You put some bazookas on your wrists, shoulders, just some dummy rockets you fire, a rocket man build. The possibilities are endless. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, what you want to try, what you think sounds cool. And then in the new Armored Core 6, there are various new ways to deal damage. Flamethrowers, energy throwers, the builds will be even more advanced. Comment down below what you like to play, what your style is. I've always been real into the energy weapon builds. And then maybe a couple missiles on my shoulder, one of them. But definitely a lot of energy. Sometimes I do one rifle of ballistics, a laser rifle in my left hand, a big laser cannon on my shoulder, and then one missile. So we'll see. Let me know, hit that thumbs up button, it helps out tremendously. Thank you to my Patreons, my supporters of the channel, and people that share this video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos.